Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is your girl Lady Tarot T. I am back with another pick a card reading. As you can see, I have four piles here. Please keep in mind that this is a general reading. It's not going to resonate with everyone. For those that this reading resonates with, please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Also, be sure to click the little bell button so you guys can be notified whenever I upload. Okay, um, so only take the messages that resonate with you. This pick a card reading is going to be what do they want to say to you but can't, okay? So I have four piles here. First pile we have the Jasper, Red Jasper, okay? Second stone we have Citrin. Third stone we have Amethyst. And last but not least we have Sodalite, okay? So take a few minutes to contemplate on which pile calls to you. The timestamps will be in the description box below. All right. I would like to thank each and every one of you for watching. Let's get into this reading. For those of you who picked the red jasper stone, let's see what, what's going on with this reading. Let's see what do they want to say to you but can't. <laughs> so I'm here when someone wants to flirt with you. Um, <laughs> but, you know, they can't. Ooh, okay. Okay. The Lord. All right. <clears throat> so what I'm getting, okay. Okay. So this one, okay, I thought it was one way and this turns out this is a totally different message that's coming through strongly for someone that I really feel needs to hear this. Um, so I feel like this, this message is from someone who has passed over, you know, who has crossed over is what I'm getting. Okay. Cause this card really stands out to me here. Okay. Um, they're saying, you know, my, you know, my death was painless. Please don't worry or feel guilty. Okay. And with the blame card, wow, this is really, really strong, striking energy, okay? I'm getting a male energy um, is what I'm getting. I feel that you were in a relationship with, with this person. Um, for some, I don't think it was, uh, I mean, it may have been like a relationship where you guys just were intimate with each other here or you know you just you you had a lot of chemistry you know you flirt a lot you flirt a lot you know with each other is what i'm getting um don't carry any um guilt or you know it's not your fault i'm getting the blame card you know um they are accepting um responsibility it's what i'm getting okay um, I feel like you definitely, this was your heart's desire to be with this person is what I'm getting, okay? Um, and I feel that this person and the angels are supporting you. They're guiding you. They're protecting you. And, you know, I feel you've been longing for romance or, you know, it's like things have just been fog is what I'm getting. Um and it's funny because we have the Lord here, okay? This is a protector. I feel this is like they're with the Lord here is what I'm getting, okay? Um, we have helpless and hopeless, restricted ob obstacles, powerless in action. Um, I feel that this person is kind of like in between. I'm getting like they're, in, they're still around you is what I'm getting, okay? Um, <clears throat> and I, like, I feel because... You could be blaming yourself or feeling guilty about this person passing, okay? And it's like they that's why I feel that they are restricted from moving forward here. Um, it's something about um, 
I feel like this person still has to help you in some way here. We have the the number eight. That's uh, infinity. I'm getting. Um, so this person was definitely like a love. You know, you you had strong feelings and love for this person. Is what I'm getting. Um, water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Um, we have the moon card. Um, so it's I, I feel like. It's some they're working behind the scenes, the angels and this person who has passed over, okay? Um, they're guiding you in the right direction. They don't want you to feel guilty, okay? Um Yeah, that's what I feel. I feel like they don't want you to feel guilty. Um, I feel for some of you you may feel restricted from moving on you know it may be going through a lot of obstacles is what i'm getting and it's like they don't want you to hold on they want you to surrender and move forward you know release it and move forward um okay but i do feel that this person could be sending someone forward because i feel with the moon there's some things that's um, behind the scenes and i feel spirit is working on you know, your behalf to send you someone, you know, another love. So, yeah, that's what I'm getting. Okay. So, um, for those of you that this uh, reading resonates with, please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye. For those of you who picked my citron stone, let's get into this reading. Let's see. What do they want to say to you but can't? Okay, so <clears throat> first of all, I'm seeing the scales. Okay, so I'm getting Libra here, an air sign, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, and or water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Okay, Aquarius, getting with the star card, strong Aquarius as well. Um, okay, so we have the romantic feeling. So this is... Someone that you could have been in a relationship with, um, in an intimate relationship, might I add, okay, with this romantic feelings card, okay. Um, something happened, I feel like you guys were, are not um, on speaking terms or something like that here, okay. Um, we have the forgiveness card, so something happened here um, in this romantic relationship where, you know, things split or you guys split and then now I feel like this person wants to um wants you to forgive them you know they want to ask for forgiveness is what I'm getting with this forgiveness card um I feel that you know they want to help in some way here we have I am here helping you so I feel like this person is you know waving the white flag if you will um, and, you know, they're definitely wanting to come forward to ask for forgiveness. Yeah, that's what I'm getting. I'm getting, like, someone is just, like, waving the white flag, you know, like, I give up. Let's just, let's just come together and, you know, forgive me and let's, let's, let's get this, you know, big change, this big happy change going on is what I'm getting. Um, this person wants to put in some sort of effort here with the dedicated effort, okay? It's like now they're honoring how they feel. They're honoring their feelings. They're coming forward with the justice card. That's why I said it could be an air sign. Um, and they're, they're wanting to bring fairness. Um, this person wants to protect you as well, okay? I don't know what happened, but it feels that this person may definitely be needing your forgiveness, okay? Um, with the Ten of Cups, they, they, I see they want happiness. They want a family. You could have children with this person for some of you, okay? Um, it could have been a time where they may have been indecisive about 
which route to go or you may be indecisive about accepting this person's offer here the the effort that they're willing to put in now is what i'm getting okay we have the star card so star card also talks about them staying hopeful and optimistic about this you know situation i feel this person wants to pour into a, to the foundation here is what i'm getting um with this energy <clears throat> Um, and if this person wasn't helping you in the past, I feel like they are wanting to surrender to help. Like they want to, you know, come forward to make the effort here. Okay. It's like, they understand that nothing can happen. Nothing can grow. Nothing can move without putting an effort into this family environment or family home life. Okay. Like I said, with the Ten of Cups, yes, I feel that they want some sort of family environment, like they want to be happy, they want this happy change, okay, they are definitely here to protect you is what I'm getting, <clears throat> and you know, with this Two of Swords, you may be indecisive about um, the this this big change that you see in this person, okay, um, because I feel that there's some sort of um feelings that you, that you may still harbor for this person you know you may still hold the hold um resentment towards this person um okay and that's where this two of swords comes comes in at you being at a stalemate you being indecisive okay about um you know working with this person or putting in with this person um them wanting to make an effort to bring justice and protect you and all of that stuff it, it kind of may throw you off is what i'm getting or may have you just kind of like stuck not really knowing what route to take not knowing what decision to make is what i'm getting okay um yeah so that's what i'm getting this person wants you to forgive them and they want to grow with you and they want a family okay so if this reading resonated with you, please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye. So for those of you who picked my amethyst stone, let's see what's going on. Let's see what do they want to say to you but can't. Okay. Oh, wow. Okay. I'm getting for some. This could be someone that you work with here. I'm seeing the success card. That makes me think about like business. Okay. Um, <laughs> so someone may have a crush on you is what I'm getting for some. This could be someone that you work with. Okay. This could be, um, this could be your boss. Okay. All right. So, we have counseling, you heal with kind words, wise advice, and empathetic in an empathetic ear. Okay, so I'm getting getting to know each other, okay, uh, as you reveal your intimate selves to each other, your bond deepens. All right, this is definitely, could be a romance, love, or something like that here. Someone that you work with or that you part, something, like some sort of business, success, or venture, or something like that, um, you know, I feel feel like you may spend a lot of time around this person here um opening up and revealing a lot of things this person may look at you in a deeper like passionate way we have the queen of wands okay um so you could be very you know beautiful um very stunning very gorgeous very um fiery you know energy here that this person likes i'm getting like maybe like a male um boss figure type of someone that you work with here maybe you know kind of having some sort of crush on you is what i'm getting okay this queen of cups um we have the strength card uh fiery sign aries leo sagittarius Real strong fire energy here um i feel like <laughs> this person feels love when you come around is what i'm getting it's like you know they can release things it's like you heal them in some in some sort of way is what i'm getting okay and it's crazy because the healing begins this also talks about assistance so this could be an assistant you could be their assistant something like that i feel like you work with this person they could definitely be worried because you know, they may have feelings for you on a deeper level and they make, you know, not 
they I feel like they can't express that because you work so close with this person or something like that okay we have life is a series of choices choose love so i feel like this person feels love you know when you come around um you guys could have definitely shared a lot of intimate well not in, well yeah kind of like personal things with each other okay during the time um for some this could be a, a counseling thing like a mentor type of relationship where this person just looks at you as someone who is definitely open like open to hear you know their problems um <clears throat> someone who they can lean on okay with that you know empathetic ear someone who's always open to hear you know how they feel and you know it's almost like they can release you know, a lot of built up tension or something like that when they come around you is what I'm getting. So that, you know, <laughs> kind of like that's where the love comes in as well. Like this person is could be very worried about um, expressing that because you guys work um around each other or you know it's just like you don't want to mix business with pleasure or something like that here um so if this person could tell you anything like they would probably say that <clears throat> that like you inspire them they're in love with you is what i'm getting it's like um if they had the choice they probably would be with you here but we do have the strength card so it's almost like they they fight their urge here like i'm saying i really feel like someone is definitely very attractive okay like she's beautiful all right so it's like they are mesmerized by that and it's like yeah it's like they hold <laughs> love for you secretly you may not even be aware of this because we do have the worry card so this could be something that they keep in secret okay so that's what i'm getting um yeah then it says when i when i'm in alignment with the love of the universe peace cannot be disturbed so it's almost like when they are around you they feel like they are in like heaven like they're in peace you know it's like you bring something to the table that a lot of um people don't okay so that's what i'm getting all right um if this reading resonates with you please like share and subscribe to my channel i'll see you guys next time bye bye for those of you who pick my soda light stone let's get into this reading let's see what do they want to say to you but can't Oh, well, we have the reconciliation card. Someone from your past is returning to your life. We have within the next few months. Okay, fear. Okay, so believe in yourself. You can do it. Animals. We have the throat chakra. All right. Um, yeah, we have the nine of swords. So that's what's keeping. Okay, and then we have the... Okay, Um. so with this... I feel this is someone that you you don't communicate with. This is someone that you don't, you know, you're not in contact with, okay? This could be a past love with this reconciliation card, okay? So I feel that this person definitely may have had fear when it comes to expressing how they feel with the throat chakra here is what I'm getting. One to not really express how they feel okay um is what i'm getting and you may have ended things with this person okay um okay with the world card um so what i'm getting is that let's see so I feel like I'm sorry you guys I had to pause this camera for a minute um but I feel that you know with this one I feel like within the next few months you could be even hearing from this person here is what I'm getting with the throat chakra they could be wanting to speak some sort of truth here um or just tell you how they feel but I feel that it's some sort of fear here okay and then especially with the nine of swords so they have a lot of anxieties about speaking like how they feel is what i'm getting um 
And so I feel that this person wants to reconcile or return to your life. This could be a friend is what I'm getting. Um, this could be a friend. This could be a lover. This could be a, a family member. Uh, you know, with this reconciliation, it doesn't necessarily have to mean romance. For some, yes, this is someone from your past, okay? Um this could have been, you know, a person who's definitely into animals as well, okay? Um, they may do some sort of work with animals, you know, very interested in them. Um, but I feel that within the next few months, this person is, could be, you know, releasing their fears and breaking free and coming forward to communicate with you here. I feel like, you know, this person wants some sort of change here, okay? And they're trusting on the universe. Um, it's like they're taking some sort of leap, all right, with this believe in yourself, you can do it card. So it's like they're taking some sort of leap to speak this truth here. It's like they're they're moving um, in the direction of the universe. You know, I feel like the universe is guiding them here, especially when, you know, we have the world card, okay? But nonetheless, I do feel that this was a relationship that has ended, okay? Um, it could have been over money here with the six of pentacles. Um, someone could have been giving um, more than the other, okay? Like I said, this could have been a friendship. This could have been a romantic relationship where, you know, you felt like you gave too much to, the, to this person and they, they didn't... I can't even talk, guys. I'm so sorry. And they, <laughs> and they didn't give um, back, you know, is what I'm getting. Okay, and with the Nine of Swords, this is like them having fear and anxiety. And, you know, um, they are definitely going to be breaking free here. Within the next few months, I feel like it's going to... It's going to sort of like build up and then it's like they're, not, you know, they're going to have no choice but to move forward here. It's almost like the universe is, is guiding them in the right direction that's needed to be able to come forward to reconcile here and speak, you know, um, what it is that they want to say or, you know, not, not, um, them no longer having fear and speaking the truth or whatever it is um, so you guys can reconcile and move forward and, you know, go your separate ways, whether it's completing the cycle and moving forward. But whatever it is, it's definitely going to it definitely could be resolved here, um, maybe through emails, text message, phone calls is what I'm getting. Um, whatever it is, is going to be communication here, okay, with this throat chakra, so that's what I'm getting, okay, if this reading resonates with you, please like, share, and subscribe to my channel, I'll see you guys next time, I appreciate each and every one of you for watching, bye-bye.